Check out colors. What? Look at that. Blue, orange, green, purple, red. What is up guys? Welcome to the John the Potter Studio. Great to have you here. I have a super full kiln load of colorful pots, mostly mugs. Uh, and I wanted to bring you guys along with me because this is my favorite part of the pottery process. When all the work is done and we get to see it totally finished. And then we get to sell it, we get to use it, we get to see people enjoy it, so it's so fun. Our next sale, everything in here, will be for sale June 5th. Uh, we have two restocks this month in June. June 5th and June 20 something else. It's another Sunday. Yeah, I've been, I've been cranking out the mugs. Uh, so every summer for the last like, I don't know, eight summers, I've had help in the summer. So I have an apprentice or an intern or an assistant, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, and I've had the same assistant now for the last three years, Kai, and we work really well together. We get a ton done. He's a very, very uh, good potter in his own. His name's Kai Brisk. Anyway, so we've been making 150 to 200 pots a week for the last few weeks. Uh, and we just like run at a really high pace. So I always have help in the summer and I do it on my own in the winter because I have a lot of other stuff I like to do in the summer, like play golf, go mountain biking, wakeboarding, going to the cabins. Like there's just so much fun stuff to do in the summer in Minnesota that I don't have as much time to work. So I don't know why I'm talking about that, but just wanted to give you a little background about why we are cranking out the mugs right now. Like it's just been kill node, kill node, kill node. Um, but this one's really fun. I thought it'd be super fun to do a really bright colored load. So we got a couple orange mugs in there. This bright orange has been pretty fun. Also, if you are planning your summer trips, make sure to put August 14th and 15th for our epic pottery event. I'd love to see you at my studio. Tons of pots for sale. We'll do Raku demonstrations, wheel throwing demonstrations. Last year was really fun. Love to have you guys there. And here, this is a new combo that I am really, really digging. You can't even see it really that well in the camera. So it's dark blue gloss with robin's egg over top. And it just looks like a night sky, stars, snow globe. It's really cool. There's the same one. And then here's a couple new testers. So this is, this is another one that's kind of hard to see in the camera, but black gloss with wrought iron. So it's kind of got this like silvery metallic drippy glaze. So this is that same combo on the top, but Aurora green. So it kind of like the metallic-y silvery drips right through the blue of the Aurora green over black gloss. So that's a tester, I like it. Two of these I tried to spray on. So I sprayed this one on and I dipped this one because I was just curious if there was any difference and it really looks, probably like the spray a little more, but another one of those same ones. And then we have this combo, which has been really exciting and fun. Roar Green over Lava Rock. Very cool textured. It's not super glossy, so it's got that kind of like in between. You know how like when you choose paint colors, you can always choose like satin, eggshell, semi-gloss, gloss. Like you think about that, there's like glazes are the same way. You can have glossy glazes, semi-gloss glazes, matte glazes, uh, satin, eggshell. Like they all have, there's a whole spectrum just like for paint. Like for example, this sandstone, this is copper ore over sandstone. This is copper ore over winter wood. So this one is obviously a little glossier than this one is very matte, but winter wood is definitely not a glossy glaze. So spectrum of finishes right there. I like them both. Which one do you like better? Copper ore over sandstone, copper ore over winter wood. I try not to do as many like brown glazes in the summer. Like I try and do bright, more bright colored springy summer glazes, but it's just so many good brown glazes. Roar green over winter wood. That is one of my favorites. That's our whole kitchen, our whole dinnerware set in our kitchen is that glaze. Those are some nice big mugs. And then here is, this is also one of my favorite, Roar green over sandstone, which like when it's the all the right consistency, you get this like purple in the transition. Love that, love it. Two more of those. Yes. Look at all that color. Got some exciting things here. The purple, very excited about that. Sweet. Robin's egg over purple gloss. Okay, so got more of the Robin's egg 
and blue gloss like that. Woo! Wow. So this is Robin's Egg Minnesota mug, purple gloss on the inside, purple gloss on the inside. Wow. Just full of really micro crystals. Purple's kind of a big color in Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota Vikings purple, Pr Prince's color is purple, Prince is from Minnesota. Got some bright green and Aurora green. Those look really nice. That looks super nice, wow. Wow, cool. Looks really good. That is some, that's some bright summery colors right there for you. Uh, nice, love this one. So there's just a lot going on when you, so this is two layers of glaze on the whole thing. Bright blue gloss, which you can see on the inside, and then Aurora Green on the outside, which actually has like this little pinkish color to it. So those look really nice. Love them. Ooh, there we go. There's, so that's Robin's Egg bright blue with Robin's Egg with bright blue. Wow, those are cool. I don't know, I've been really into these bright colors recently. I know that's not everybody's thing, especially in pottery when Darker muted earthy colors are probably more common. And I do that as well. Here's the black gloss on the inside spiral mug. Same thing, bunch of those. Uh, and then more of the, ooh, that looks nice. That's a little more like earthy muted. Aurora green over lava rock. Really, really like that. I like the shape of that mug too. It's kind of like, starts kind of shallow, gets a little wider and then goes in and, and kind of back out. That. That's the thing when I'm, so I have my intern, so I typically will throw 50 to 60 mugs every day and then the next day he'll come trim them, handle them. You know, if they get a Minnesota logo or a Mocha Monkey logo, then he does that. It's just like I get really experimental with the different shapes that I do. Which is awesome. And check out the colors. What? Look at that. Blue, orange, green, purple, red. All right, first off, wow. Looks really good, really, really good. Boom, bright green, love it. I just think like, how can you not be happy when you're drinking out of this mug, right? Brightness of the color, I feel like would just be very mood boosting, you know what I mean? It's kind of cool, like, so this happens to this glaze where depending on how it's set up in the kiln, you get kind of a different look, like see how the color of this is different than the, this color right here. It's more blue, bluish. I mean, you can really see the difference. Those are the same glazes, just how they were in the kiln and how close they were to another, like either the element or right next to another makes the difference in that color. Well, yeah, even like here to there, it's quite different. Okay, what else we got here? Here's a purple with Robin's egg. Purple gloss, yeah, light. I'm liking that, digging it. Does have these little tiny pinholes, which I don't love. Some of them are fine, they're smooth, and but, hmm, yeah, I don't like that. Don't know, don't know what that is all about. Oh, what else we got here? Nice. I swear it looks like snow falling, and then it's even like snow, like, starting to stick to the ground. And then purple, nice. Spiral. All right, we got some orange. Those are pretty, that's pretty wild stuff going on. Orange in the inside. Wow. I've kind of been just like thinking about this. That is like, the bottom shelf tends to look slightly different. Like, here, I'll get you. This is the same combo. Same kiln, just different shelves. And that's kind of been consistent is when I've been putting these on the bottom shelf, they've been turning out more like this but I kind of want them to turn out like this. So I might refire a couple of those and see how it goes and see if they change. Oh, well, that's pretty nice. So same glaze, but different shelves, also different shape. I mean, a lot of times the texture also makes a difference. Both, both good, both nice, good mugs. Just, I like this one a little bit better. Is that it? Here's the orange with Robin Tay. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild what's going on there. Yeah, I've had this, I, what I was saying, I think I stopped talking before was, I've had this idea in my head to do this where I have like all these bright colors with similar glazes on the outside. 
so that they kind of go together. Like, look at that! Thing is nuts. That's sweet. Super cool. Really fun. Really, really fun. So I don't know if they'll sell that well because that is pretty wild colors. Maybe most people. It's definitely not the trend in like having simple houses and you know my wife is like painting our kitchen white and everything's black and white and so to throw in some bright orange uh we'll see but i thought it was fun why not right this might be the most colorful kiln that i have ever had this is that red with the roar green over which i really like Definitely bluish here, but then kind of shifts to a different color over here. Very cool. All right. Well, that was very exciting and fun. I'm glad you guys could join me on this unloading adventure today. Again, June 5th, a lot of this stuff will be for sale as well as many other mugs, as well as some bowls and planters and a few other things, mostly mugs. Uh, otherwise, I'd love to see you August at our event. Comment below if there's any videos that you are dying to see. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.